In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the domain of a radical function without the use of a graph. So let's start with this example, the square root of 4 plus x. If you set 4 plus x equal to 0, x is equal to negative 4. So there's only one x value that will give you a value of 0. When you see this, simply set the inside equal to or greater than 0. You won't need a number line for this example. And solve. Find a value of x. If we subtract both sides by 4, x is equal to or greater than 4. If you graph the solution on a number line, you don't have to, but if you choose to, this is how the solution is going to look. We're going to have a closed circle, and because x is equal to or greater than 4, we're going to shade towards the right. So the domain is from negative 4 to infinity. And since it includes negative 4, we need to use brackets. Now, what if it was 1 over the square root of x plus 4? Now, this time, x plus 4 has to be greater than 0, but not equal to 0. You cannot have a 0 in the bottom of a fraction. 1 over 0 is undefined, so you can't have that. So it's going to be greater than 0, but not equal to it. So x, in this case, is greater than negative 4. So if we plot it on a number line, this time we're going to have an open circle as opposed to a closed circle. So the domain is going to be from negative 4 to infinity using parentheses as opposed to brackets. Try these two. The square root of 2 minus x and 1 over the square root of 2 minus x. So. For the example on the left, we're going to set the inside greater than or equal to 0. So if we subtract both sides by 2, negative x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now, if we divide both sides by negative 1, the inequality changes direction. So x is less than or equal to positive 2. Because it's equal to it, we need to use a closed circle. And because it's also less than, we need to shade towards the left. So therefore, the domain is going to be from negative infinity to positive 2, including 2. Now, for the example on the right, everything's the same, except that since it's on the bottom, it cannot equal 0. It can only be greater than 0. So negative x will still be greater than negative 2. And if we divide by negative 1, the inequality will still ch uh, change sign. So x is less than positive 2. So everything is the same, except that we're going to use an open circle instead of a closed circle. We're still going to shade towards the left. So the domain is going to be from negative infinity to positive 2 with parentheses as opposed to brackets, since it does not include 2. And so notice the difference between the two answers. Now sometimes, you may have multiple answers. Let's say if we have a quadratic function inside a radical. How can we write the domain of this function? The first thing you want to do is you want to factor the expression. Two numbers that multiply to 10 but add to negative 7 are negative 2 and negative 5. So it's going to be x minus 2 times x minus 5. Now, the product of x minus 2 and x minus 5 has to be equal to or greater than 0. Since there's two points of interest, 2 and 5, you want to use the number line for this case. Let's plot 2 and 5. Now let's pick a number that's greater than 5. Let's say 6. 6 minus 2 is positive. 6 minus 5 is positive. A positive number times a positive number will give you a positive number which is greater than 0. So anything beyond 5 will be positive. Now let's check the signs for a number between 2 and 5. If we plug in 3, 3 minus 2 is positive, 3 minus 5 is negative. A positive number times a negative number is a negative number, and a negative number is not greater than 0. So therefore, we don't want the 
um, the region between 2 and 5. That's not going to be the solution. We want the region that's greater than 0 or equal to it. So we want the positive region, not the negative region. Now, if we plug in a number less than 2, let's say 0. 0 minus 2 is negative. 0 minus 5 is negative. Two negatives multiplied to each other will give us a positive result. So anything less than 2 will give us a positive number inside the square root. We cannot have a negative number inside the square root. It won't give us a real number. It will give us a magic number if we have a negative number inside the square root. So the answer that we're looking for is within the region where the graph or the curve is positive inside the radical. So the domain is going to be from negative infinity to 2 and it includes 2 because it's greater than or equal to. So we need to use a bracket at 2 and then union it starts back up again at 5 and it goes to infinity. So that's the domain for this particular function. Now let's try another example. Try this one. 1 divided by the square root of x squared plus 3x minus 4. So feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to factor. Two numbers that multiply to negative 4 are positive 4 and negative 1. So this is going to be the square root of x plus 4 times x minus 1. Now because the radical is in the bottom, the inside part of the radical has to be only greater than 0 but not equal to 0. So we need to find the x values where the product of these two factors are positive. So let's make a number line using negative 4 and 1. If you set x plus 4 equal to 0, x will equal negative 4. If you set x minus 1 equal to 0, x will equal positive 1. So you need to change it. Now, let's plug in a number that's greater than 1. Let's say 2. 2 plus 4 is positive. 2 minus 1 is positive. So it's going to be positive in this region. If we plug in a number between negative 4 and 1, like 0, 0 plus 4 is positive. 0 minus 1 is negative. So it's going to be negative in the middle. And if we plug in, let's say, negative 6, negative 6 plus 4 is negative, negative 6 minus 1 is negative. So it's going to be positive here. Two negative signs make a positive. And so we want the side or the part of the number line where it's positive. And we're going to have an open circle at negative 4 and 1. So the domain is going to be from negative infinity to negative 4, union 1 to 4, I mean 1 to infinity, using uh, parentheses as opposed to brackets. And so that's the answer. Now what about this one? The cube root of x squared plus 3x minus 4. In the other examples, we were using the square root. If the index number is even, the domain will be restricted. You cannot have any negative numbers inside a radical with an even index number. But if the index number is odd, you can have negative numbers. For example, the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Nothing wrong with that. Now the square root of 4 is 2, but the square root of negative 4 is not a real number. It's an imaginary number. And on a graph, the imaginary numbers are not visible. So here's what you need to know. For a square root function, when the index number is even, you're going to have a restricted domain. So everything that we've done so far is what you're going to have to do. If you have an odd exponent, you don't have to do anything. The domain is all real numbers. x can be anything. For the sake of practice, let's try one more example. Try this one. Find the domain of the function. Now, because the index number is even, the domain will be restricted. So 1 plus x times 5 minus x has to be equal to or greater than 0. If the radical was in a denominator, it would simply be greater than 0 but not equal to it. 
So we're going to use closed circles as opposed to open circles. If we set 1 plus x equal to 0, then x will be equal to negative 1. If we set 5 minus x equal to 0, then 5 is equal to x. So we got these two numbers. Now let's find out which of these three regions the function will be positive. So if we plug in 6, 6 plus 1 is positive, 5 minus 6 is negative. So the whole thing is negative. Now if we plug in 0, 0 plus 1 is positive, 5 minus 0 is positive. So any number between negative 1 and 5 is positive. Now if we plug in negative 2, 1 plus negative 2 is negative, 5 minus negative 2 is positive. So it's negative to the left of negative 1. And let's not forget negative infinity and positive infinity. Now we only want the answer where it's positive. And because it's greater than or equal to 0, negative 1 and 5 are included. So therefore, the domain for this particular function is from negative 1 to 5, including negative 1 and 5. And that's the answer.